You know the band Lumineers. They're cellists left for a new project. Neela Carrick wrote a solo album based on the real life legend of a Coloradan known as Rattlesnake Kate. Our KD Eastman and photojournalist Mike Grady have the story. The marketing of Rattlesnake Kate is unconventional. They're calling it a badass new musical. And really, that's the most appropriate description for a story about a Colorado woman who killed 140 rattlesnakes and made a dress from their skin in 1925. But getting this story to its stage premiere in Denver, that took these two badass women, Karen Hartman and Neela Pekarik. <laughs> I think we're very excited. We're very excited. Yes. Yeah. The show yeah. began as history that Neela would tell her friends. It feels like a like a party trick that got really out of hand. She then composed an album that this New York City playwright found inspiration in. The story just speaks to the way that women now are missing parts of our history and reclaiming those ancestors gives us more power. These two women saw more than a figure who gained fame from her battle with yeah, snakes. The, the rattlesnake encounter is the hook that, that brings you in, but for me it was, it was the research that I did beyond that about Kate that made me know this was not just one song, this wasn't just an album, this is so much bigger. When the pandemic paused the production, the show itself got bigger too. This feels much more epic than what I had imagined when we first started this. On the stage, the main character is played by three women. An intentional decision by women who saw themselves in Kate and hope others will too. And I think that's what the audience is responding to as well as a potential for a kind of unity that's not conformity, it's harmony. Badass in more ways than one. For next, I'm Katie Eastman. That show runs at the DCPA's Wolf Theater through March 13th. That could be the end of things. Maybe there's another theater picks it up. Neil and Karen said to get Broadway involved, it'd just take $20 million in an open theater there. So, hey, maybe somebody watching knows somebody.